Hey guys, this is Beer with another video for the Acer Predator training room. Today in this video, I want to run through all my settings that I use to optimize my League of Legends experience while playing on my Orion 9000 rig. First thing I want to do is answer the question, are settings even important in mobile games? Do they even make a difference? Well, the short answer is yes, they do. If you're an FPS player, you might not feel it as much, but without a doubt, they are still something you should be aware of. So. Let's jump right into it and show you my settings. So first things first, my mouse sensitivity. I run at 700 DPI on my mouse uh, in Windows, and then in the game itself, I'm running at 50 speed. This is honestly not too fast, but really not that slow either. I find like it's good to have kind of like a middle ground. If anything, you want to be a bit slower than a bit faster. If you're too fast, then you won't be accurate enough with your skill shots. If you're too slow, you just won't really have the speed to keep up with stuff in the game. And trust me, that's coming from someone who played a lot of Counter Strike back in the day, still plays and plays on a very low sensitivity. I know the benefits of low sensitivity in gaming, guys. Uh, and for me, you don't really need it in League. For my interface settings, the only really important one here is to have this minimap scale all the way up to 100. This is quite obvious, quite self-explanatory. Map awareness is one of the most key things uh, in League of Legends. The only other thing I would bring in the interface tab here is uh, the scrolling down a bit and going to the ability cooldown display. Uh, I put this on minutes plus seconds. Sometimes people ask me about uh, how I do this uh, in when I'm streaming or something like that. Basically, it means that when you use a long cooldown, like your ulti or something like that, it will display, well, in minutes <laughs> and seconds, which for me is just uh, a little bit clearer. Video settings just come down to what rig you're running. Obviously, the Orion 9000 is an absolute machine, so I could have everything as high as I wanted to if I wished. Uh, but if you do have like a not so good machine at home, don't worry too much. I don't even have everything as high as I can just by choice. Character quality I have on the max, but everything else uh, is on high just because I think it's less cluttered that way. And shadows are actually turned off for similar reasons. And this is my resolution using the uh, XP271 Predator monitor as well. Massive bloody thing, uh, really cool. Last but not least, your hotkeys. This is the most important one, obviously, when you're playing a MOBA. Uh, as you will notice at a glance, I have everything for my core abilities on quick cast. I've just found that it, it just makes things a little bit cleaner, a little bit smoother if you have it all on smart cast. Especially if you're you're playing Lee Sin, you're trying to ward hop and stuff like that. Like it's just so much quicker if you have it on quick cast. I mean, you basically have to have it on quick cast if you're doing any fast combos live with Lee Sin. I actually turn this quick cast off for certain abilities, the charging abilities, the ones you have to charge up. So like Zac E or, or his ultimate as well, you know, Galio W, Varus Q, these kind of things. I turn it off of quick cast because with quick cast on, you have to hold it down to charge it up. With quick cast off, you tap it, it automatically charges and then you just tap it again when you wanna cast it, which I prefer, so I take quick cast off for those abilities. You also notice that my items are one, two, three, four, five, six, and my trinket is C, so my trinket is not bound to a number. It's much easier for me to, for my fingers to reach the trinket if it's on C, I just have to move my, you know, index finger down from D onto C. You also might notice as well that two of these are on quick cast. That is my number two key uh, and that trinket. Just press CW like that, bam, it's all done. And yeah, my number two slot here is for very specific items like, uh, you know, the Blade of Ring King. So I just have to press two. Any of these like targeted ones, you know, like Blade or, or Gunblade or something like that. Also my number six is bound not just to six. This is when I'm pressing six, but I also have it to a mouse key which is quick cast. So when I do this, it quick casts whatever is in my number six slot. Again, that is primarily for when I am playing Lee Sin and I want to do a ward hop. I will put my control wards down uh, in this last slot and then I can just like, bam, just like that. Really easy piece of lemon squeezy. Last important key binding I have, uh, if we scroll down a little bit here, player attack move click, which I've got set to a. Basically what this means is when I press A, you can see this little red, these red arrows going down onto the floor. It's like a right click, but it also means I'm going to attack anything that's in my way. So if I were to right click here, I'm not attacking this, but if I were to A click, even if I click over here, I'm not moving because this thing's in my way. So if I were to kick it out of range and then move it, I would actually be able to move. I find that's really useful for things like kiting if I'm playing a ranged champion, last hitting as well. Because like you saw, you don't actually have to click 
on the target. You know, you can walk away and then A and then walk away and A. And imagine I'm a ranged champion here. This is how you kite really easily. So that's, uh, that's what I prefer to do. But that just about does it for all my settings, guys. The most important one for when things are going a little bit uh, south in the game uh, is this one alt f4 which you no i'm kidding don't do that don't uh, don't don't actually do that that's uh, i'm joking don't do that that's about gonna do it today for our gear video main partnership with acer predator training room the training room if you're not quite sure what it is essentially a place you can go a tool you can use to get better at your favorite game with more focus on like the mid to high end stuff if you're interested, follow the links in the description. You can subscribe to their channel, uh, visit their website, all that lovely business. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in my next video.